What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another reaction video here on TCG University for the Card Game Universes. My name's Tam, and today I'm going to be taking you through the uh, state of the game that Jasco has just put out. The July 2020 state of the game. Um, full disclosure, I don't know anything. I'm going into this completely blind. I had to, as soon as I got the notification, I had to jump off of social media, so I don't know anything that's happening. But I will say my thoughts beforehand. I am excited to see... Um, what Jasco is saying about the game. I'm excited to see the fact that they care enough about the casual format that they are willing to make changes to the people wishing to play a competitive game casually because of everything that's happening in the world currently. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and jump into the, uh, we're going to jump into the state of the game. So, um, it says, hello and welcome back to another update article. What a crazy few months it's been. We don't dwell on the world. We don't dwell on in the world, the state of craziness going on, but I've got a bit of news for you. Um, first, our inaugural retro series took place this last weekend. If you want to catch the VODs, TCG University on Twitch. Um, thank you, Jasco, for letting us host that. Thank you, Bradley, for uh, for coming out and helping me commentate. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, we had a great turnout, and the seems the buzz around the event is still going on, so we're happy to announce that retro series event 2 is going to happen. Wow, that's awesome. Um, the event is saturday august 29th the, the retro ban list has been updated um if you follow the event leading up to the day you look at the top eight you'll notice we're experimenting with this bit of the format so we're temporarily suspending the diversity rule in an effort to really figure out the format so this is really cool for any of my uh, my new kids what the diversity rule is is let's say that me and you were both playing um, midoriya from the new my hero academia set and we both made it into the top eight. If diversity rule is in effect, the better of the two Midorias would make it through. The best Deku would, would get through. Um, and the second best Deku, if I got uh, first and you got second, you would be kicked all the way to ninth place. Um, if there was a third Deku in tops, they would be kicked to tenth place and so on and so forth. And then the people who were 9, 10, 11 would be then kicked up into, top, uh, into the top cuts. So um, pretty... Pretty uh, pretty cool that they're doing this without diversity. I like that a lot. And we'll uh, we'll check out the ban list after we're done looking at the rest of the state of the game. Um, we've also been playing around with the entry fee and pricing for the events. The next event may see more of this. We hope to see a bigger turnout next month. Below are the participation and top cut promos for the next event. Whew. Um, Dreaming of becoming whole, burning with revenge, hand cannon, and... Akimbo. All fan all fantastic. Ama Holy cow. What good cards are given out as promos? Hand cannon should be in every deck possible. Akimbo should be all over the place. Burning with Revenge and Akimbo are insane together. Uh, Dreaming of Becoming Whole, a staple in those symbols. I'm really, really happy to see these uh, these cards coming in as the promos. Not saying that Zap and... Um, what, was the, uh, what was the other one? Robomasters were not good enough, but these cards are way, way, way more uh, widely available and widely played inside of decks. Moving on to uh, Redemption. Oh, I can't scroll any further. Moving on to Redemption. As of Monday, July 27th, the following cards will be available for Redemption. Combat Ash. What a nutty character. If you have not picked up a Combat Ash, now is the time to do it. Um, play with him for as long as you can. I think there might be a, uh, a ban for him coming if any of the uh, crazy stuff I'm seeing online is uh, to continue. We've got... A Moment of Rest, amazing card for all the 7th Cross characters, and then Soul Calibur, like a staple for, uh, for honestly, any set that wants to play with uh, assets. If, if you want to play with Combat Ash, you should be getting uh, Soul Calibur as well. So, Erratas. Effective immediately, the following Errata is in effect. Hellfire Impalement. Um, enhance, remove X cards from discard pile with a contributable 2 that have not been readied. Ready Foundations have not been ready this combat phase. What a good fix. What a solid fix. The draw is not the issue. Reset my whole staging area four times is. What a good fix. I love this card now. This card it, this card will still see play. This card will still see play and still be topping events like it like no other. This 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 is a fantastic fix to this card. Um, as well as ban list update. Shadow Slicer. Ooh, oh, man. Shadow Slicer. Okay, Shadow Slicer was an attempt to continue exploring both the self mill mechanic of fire and the attack recursion theme presented in the Soul Calibur Libra of Souls. Um, it was, it gives nods to, uh, Chasm Buster with similar stats of a 2-2 pump for 2 vitality. Unfortunately, this attack has, br has proven too valuable. Rather than attempt patchwork errata fixes, we feel it's best to completely ban this card from all constructed formats. So, that means includes retro. Yeah, that means, uh, no shadow slices in your retro decks. I think this is a good call, honestly. I think, uh, I think that... 
I think patchwork would have been fine. Maybe say that you can only use one copy of, uh, you can only play shoot two shadow slices in a turn. Like there's, there's a ton of workarounds that you could do, um, on the top end to have made this card okay. But the fact that this card is just like kind of nutty banana sandwich means that, uh, it kind of needed to go. I already spoiled it for myself. Downward Spiral. Downward Spiral is an amazing tool to add to the discard synergy. Unfortunately, this card provides both the both this and the payoff. The discard enhance combined with a massive damage bonus enhance can be too easily become over oppressive. The little difficulty of Downward Spiral far outweighs the possible drawbacks of the two check value. Turn one attacks going second can be all but guaranteed to succeed and offer a large chunk of damage with little to no resistance. It easily could be in five difficulty and one control or or one control, or both. And likely still will see, and likely still see widespread play. Because of these reasons, ba ba uh, Spiral is banned in all constructed formats. Okay, alright, cool. Whitzel 1. Whitzel 1 was previously banned from being too good and spontaneously adding too much damage in a game format that did not see the numbers of today's games. We feel that on its own, this card would be very strong, but, but not likely objectable. Objectionable? I love it. Uh, however, when combined with Whistle 2, which is proven to be easy to accomplish, the character becomes overwhelming. Actually, let's, let's go back up to Downward Spiral. I didn't say anything about Downward Spiral. Downward Spiral, uh, I agree. Uh, a lot of games that I fight Downward Spiral, I know that it's just a ticking time bomb of when do they draw two Downward Spirals and kill me. Normally, you can stave off one Spiral. One Spiral is fine. It's that second one you're going to die for. Because Double Spiral means that you essentially are discarding four cards in order to deal with it. Because you have to have a good low block because it's a five low for... A million damage and it makes you discard a card all by itself very rarely will you play a, a character that under the chaos or death symbol that does not also have the voice symbol because that discard is just so potent and there's not enough uh there's not enough pure of heart seeing play um in order to and not enough pure of heart seeing play as well as you have to keep it and hold it defensively which means you're essentially minus one hand size already there's a I'm sure there's plenty of topics on the tcu podcast about uh how downward spirals are oppressive i'm i'm personally glad it's gone it uh but it does set a precedent for um, if Downward Spiral is too good, is it Missile Launcher too good? And that's a whole conversation we could have. Uh, Whitzel 1 dot. Um, yeah, it basically is saying if it's combined with Whitzel 2, uh, it's silly. And the reason I, I totally agree with this, I think 1 by itself is totally fine. 2 by itself is totally fine. But once you combine them, um, which is what stacking is supposed to do, right? Is combining these characters. It becomes like you're sometimes an, uh, a 7 hand size nightmare that all of your attacks are throws and you give a bunch of extra damage as opposed to like no like as supposed to just two extra damage on certain attacks every attack gets the bonus if they block you add one card back up to your hand like it's you discard momentum you're making them discard cards yeah whistle one and whistle two combined is kind of silly so i'm uh i'm glad that they're trying out this uh this method maybe this is maybe this isn't the issue and maybe whistle two dot inside of retro is actually the problem and you just go and you you uh ban him and bring back whistle one but to be seen. The Shill. <laughs> Mortal Kombat uh, Trilogy DLC releases. Yeah, this is uh, this is good. Pre-order today. Get your noob Cybots. They're going to be cool. And Shiva's like the coolest character they have, uh, they've have. they printed in a long time. So, I'm excited. Anyways, I want to go ahead and look at the uh, the retro banners. But first, I want to talk about the bands. How do I feel uh, all together? This errata is fantastic for Hellfire, Hellfire Impalement. I'm super, super happy that, uh, that it happened. Uh, Shadow Slicer should have should be gone. It does just it just does too much. Downward Spiral is a little too swingy for my liking. I'm happy with all of these bands. I'm happy with it. Um, I'm not. I feel like maybe we could have let Quitzel live for one more retro format, but uh, I know that if I was going to be playing in retro, that's who I'd be playing, and so that I'm sure that has some weight on me, possibly being biased towards it. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out the uh, the ban list for retro and see if there's any major changes I'm gonna scroll all the way down look uh, zap robot masters and they're gonna update this page here i'm sure very soon gemini man whitzel maxima mature chin harness and chaos fatality fatality still gone no equal penance paper take we're lost time yeah i uh the big thing about these cards being specifically banned is whenever you add cards i actually think that jasco whenever you do your updates to your ban list and it's in a list format like this i actually wish that you would tell me what has been added and what has been taken off so if you took and in like bright yellow text um you had like uh, uh or, or uh if it was highlighted, right, and it's like removed from list, X character, and then over next to Hutzel one dot, if you had a hyphen, added effective seven twenty four 
twenty, right? I think that'd be uh that'd be fun. Bane standard. Uh, all of the stuff is already Bane and standard, so it doesn't matter. Champion characters. So the only champion characters that we have are Garbrett one dot and your Lexa two dot, which I have no idea. I don't know what any of these characters do. Actually, that's a lot. I know what Joe Hill does. Um, I'm sure everybody can go on UFS Ultra to figure out what the other characters do. But this means that uh, characters like Philbert one is going to be legal. I'm assuming with the Arata, uh, you can you can gauge all the Garrett Bretts except for one dot. So find the best Garrett Brett and then gauge him and like have fun of that deck. Yeah, that sounds fun. You can you can gauge. Uh, um, Mike Hardiman's, you can gauge uh, Kevin Broberg's, you can gauge all the Tim Keys, all three of them. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of cool stuff that can, like uh, we can play. Man, Tim Keith too in a with this format. I'm excited. Champion foundations, no foundations have been banned. Champion assets and actions, Drew Maffei Lion Buddy. I think it's a good call, making sure that uh uh you don't just auto find an attack, especially with how much mill we have inside the game. The golden ticket, we already have it inside of the foundation for uh, true identity. Lion stance. I'm pretty sure that card copies another card. I don't know what UFS house does. And when the moon comes over the mountain, is just like pure recursion. Crazy. <laughs> Actually crazy. Gen Con promos. Jiffy Jamber. Scorpion 2. Ryu 2. Scorpion 2 is banned. Interesting. I wonder what Scorpion 2 did. Maybe gauging them is too intense. We can do that in standard right now, so I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, maybe it's just to uh, make sure that we catch all the Gen Con promos. I think that's fine. Um, Jiffy Jamber shouldn't exist in any format. Being an A-hander with 20 Vitality is insane. And Ryu 2. Uh, Jazz goes a bunch of cowards, and they refuse to let me play a, a playable Ryu. Bunch of cowards, Jazz go. I'm just kidding, obviously. Ryu 2 is insane. <laughs> um, product bonus and exclusive event. Iori 3, Kyo 3, Mai 3, Combat Ash. Combat Ash is still banned for this event. Hmm. Maybe we're just afraid of assets. I'm okay with that, but this means that uh, we get a. Uh, I believe we get things like Yellow Devil and Sniper Joe back. Um, box hoppers, bang, bang is still banned. Every other box hopper is fine. Interesting. Interesting. Did we? Hold on, we're gonna go back up. Are Gil and Jedi still on this list? Yeah, Gil and Jedi still there. All right, just just double checking. Try sword. Uh, Sasha one dot. The reason Sasha's on here is she actually straight up beats the rules. Summer heat meddling with power powers and Truong. Uh, I don't know what Truong does, but I, I've been told he's buddy. Uh, he's nutty. Meddling with higher powers. I have no idea. Summer heat. I think that card's fine. Actually, I don't think I don't think summer heat's that big of a deal. But uh, that's fine. Uh, King Fighters promo pack. It looks like everything from the promo pack is not legal, and then probably likely the same. All the attacks of power are not legal. Yeah, so we have the uh, the 2020 event. The legal sets probably didn't change. DCLC Series 1. Uh, so that means that Mortal Kombat is now on the... Uh, the Are now on the legal sets. So you can now play your uh, your noob Cybot decks inside of the next uh, retro event. Going to be interesting. I'm, uh, I'm excited to see how it goes. What are my final thoughts... On the July 2020 state of the game. I'm overall happy with it. I'm excited for Fire Evil All decks to stop having the crutch of Shadow Slicer. I think the fact that they no longer have four cards that just do 24 damage is great. I think that's I think that's fantastic. Um, I know it's incredibly easy to just like limit your deck building to just toss four of this card in here and then make your deck around this one card as opposed to trying to branch out and do something exciting. Same thing with Downward Spiral. But with that said, I feel like Void is kind of like not on the map without Downward Spiral. So I wonder I wonder what Void can do in order to come back from this their main possibly singular kill card being uh being hit by the ban ban hammer so yeah what do you guys think let me know down in, in the uh the comments down below make sure you share this video around to all your uh universe's homies um they got to know that they can no longer play shadow slicers and you don't have to die on turn three anymore well, I mean, you'll still die on Sunday, but for different reasons. <laughs> um, with that said, if you like the content, make sure you go and support out on Patreon.com. Patreon, Patreon.com slash TCD University. Sub out there um, and uh, get a bunch of access to uh, a bunch of really awesome stuff. And I have to go uh, change a bunch of deck lists for next week's campus championship that you can catch on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash TCD University. So, from all of us here at TCDU, thank you very much for watching the video and stay learned.